you know, just having to relive this, first of all, it has to be traumatic. It has to be. And to know that she knew the four, you know, Bill, Camera, Ginny, and Lee Owen. That's just sad. As it was going past you, who was in the area prior to it going past you on, and I'm assuming you lifted your right arm, was that on your right side as you were marching down Main Street? Yes. Okay. Who was in that area prior to that red streak coming through? Uh, Kitty Corner for me, that would be Bill and uh, Tamara Durant. Did you get the opportunity to see what that red streak was? Uh, yeah, and shortly, in a few seconds later, the red uh, vehicle was right in front of me, going down the center of, to me, just pointing to the center of the parade route. So right in front of you? Yes. How close did that red streak come to you? I would say a few feet. He had to go around the car, the music vehicle, okay. and then the right, right on the right side, and that's when Bill and Tamara were hit. So when you were in front, um, or I'm sorry, in the back of the parade lineup, um, how far were you directly in front of the music car? Uh, several feet. And the red vehicle that you've identified, it went to the right of it the It came music from the right side, yes. And you stated it hit Bill and Tamara, correct? They were the first ones, because they were just kitty corner from me, several feet. Then where did it go? This um, vehicle. The, then I noticed, I didn't see them get hit, because it all happened so quick that I was still dancing and all of a sudden I seen the red car in front of me and I screamed either in my head or out loud, I don't know which, but I said, what is he doing? Where's he going? And I just screamed it because it was so unusual and I knew if he was going down the center of the parade route he was going to be hurting a lot of people. You can tell by her demeanor just in general, you know, with this part especially talking about Bill getting hit and Tamara, Tamara getting hit, that this, she just is so discombobulated. And he wasn't going slow. He was going at a good clip. That poor lady, Laura, Jesus, she said, and he wasn't going slow. He was going at a good clip. Did, from the time that you saw the red vehicle on your right, um, striking Bill and Tamara, did it ever, did you see it slow down at all? Did I what? See the vehicle slow down. No, it just hit them. And as he was coming in, he, he started then going toward the middle where he hit two more people and then veered to the left and killed two more. Oh, gosh. I wish I could just give her a great big hug. She said that after Bill and Tamara Durant were hit, that he hit two more people and then veered to the left and killed two more. And that was Lee Owen and Ginny Sorensen. You said you it was a red vehicle. Did you get a general description of the vehicle? What type of car? Was it a car, a sedan, a pickup truck? And no, it was a, like a SUV or something. It was a, wasn't just a car. It was a van or, you know, something on that order, SUV. So as the vehicle went through, did it stop after it um, struck? I think you said it struck the people in the front. Who were the people that you just testified to that died? Objection, leave the witness. Overruled. Grounds. Uh, he came oh, from on. the right. Oh. Hit two. Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs>
was not me. Go ahead, you may answer. It came from the right, hit two people, and then veered toward the middle. That's when I really seen them, and then hit two more people, veered to the left, and hit two more. And the last two people that were struck, do you know who those people were? Yes, I believe they were Ginny and um, Lee. And you testify that both of those people died as a result of being struck? They were killed instantly. And because the car came from the Hold back... On. Oops. That's okay. There's not a question. Wait till the question is asked. Okay. After the car struck Ginny, and she would have been in the, the front of the parade still carrying the banner, is that correct? Yes. Uh, she was on the far left, right in front of Ginny. After that occurred, um, did you see the vehicle stop? No. The vehicle kept going? Yes. Did you see the path of travel it took after it um, struck Ginny? Well, after it struck Ginny, it was sort of on the left side of the street, and it just kept barreling through. I have bring up Exhibit 54 again. Go ahead. And I'd ask that be published to the jury. It's previously been admitted as <coughs> evidence. Go ahead. Objection. What's the relevancy of the video? This goes to show he pays attention to nothing, and he objects for no reason because... Uh, exhibit 54 was the formation lineup of the dancing grannies. It's not a video. So he's just objecting to object to hear his own voice because he thinks he sounds smart when in all reality he's a freaking idiot. He's trying to make this, this uh, dancing granny, this beautiful older lady Laura Fiend trying to make her nervous. I hope he's not trying to make uh, Attorney Basie nervous because that's definitely not going to happen. It's at 54. The court's already admitted it. It is shown to the jury. Go ahead. Ma'am, wow. can you, when the car went through, can you approximate, approximate where Bill was on this chart? You can put an X where you think he was. Bill was about uh, here. I thought the sheet wasn't being shown. Um, you specifically made a ruling for the sheet to be turned over. Uh, that was during her testimony. She's now being asked to annotate the exhibit. So it's proper. Your objections noted. It's overruled. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, can you... Um, <clears throat> show the jury using this chart and maybe you just using a line the path that the red um, vehicle took It struck there, hit Tamara, Betty, Lee, and then Jenny. Thank you. If we can take a screenshot of that, and it would be State's Exhibit 54A, I believe. Laura talks about how, you know, they died in how Lee Owen and Virginia Sorensen died instantly, and... Attorney Basie is now asking her to put on the map, like, the lineup of, of who was hit and, and, you know, like, through the formation, how it went, the line through the formation. And you stayed after it struck your group, it continued going in the left hand? Yes. Time. Do you know what group was in front of you? What was in front? I'm sorry, do you know what parade group was in front of the dancing grannies? Um, and if you don't remember, that's okay. Yeah, I'm not real sure. Okay, that's fine. Well, 
for the record, uh, the court did capture the annotation and marked it as 54A. After the vehicle went by, what did you do? After the I when I noticed that vehicle in front of me, and then it went to, toward the left and continued going down, it all happened in a matter of seconds. And after the car kept going, I looked on the road, and all I seen were bodies. I thought I was in a war because there were just so many, and I just went into shock, and I just grabbed my jacket like this and went to each body to see who it was and if I could help. I'm gonna, you said that you grabbed your jacket. You held both um, sides of your jacket up to your neck area. Would that be a fair statement? Yes, yes. I just, Objection I rather think that I need Hold on. Okay. The objection's noted, it's overruled. Her answer and the description provided for the record by Attorney Basie, I would note, was accurate. Um, you may continue. Grounds for the overrule. Already noted. Go ahead, Attorney Basie. Uh, uh, so you said that you were in shock. Um, I just went into shock seeing the body. So I just, I needed to hold on to something, I think. So I just grabbed this and just went from body to body and then the people were running into the road with blankets and the uh, anybody that was in the medical group quick came and were helping the people that were laying in the road to see if they could help. The people that you saw laying in the road were all of those people from your group? Objection, yes. Hearsay. Overruled, not hearsay. Just a reminder, once again, let me rule on the objection before you answer. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Can you walk us through who you went up to and what you observed after you said you started going to each of the bodies to check and see if you could help? Um, like I say, the people from the sidewalk, they just ran into the road to help. Spectators? Spectators from the sidewalk, yes. They were wonderful to try to help, bringing blankets to cover the people, to keep them warm. Um, then there was someone from the, I think it was the tavern, the bar right there, and someone came out and had us, kind of corralled us, me, Sharon, and Kathy, into the tavern to give us some warm coffee or something to drink. I cannot stand that man. I don't understand. I hate hurting anybody's feelings. How can you just drive through a parade and just run through bodies like that? I just don't get it. I'm not meant to get it because I'm not that damn crazy. I got some screws loose, don't get me wrong, but I would never. But I couldn't stay in there. I had to be out there, and I had to know what was going on and how badly everybody, anybody was hurt. So when you came out, who did you go up to? I Then I went up back, I was on the road again, and just looking who was being helped and who was not quite being helped yet and how badly they were hurt. I could not even find Tamara and Lee. Okay, and when you say Tamara, Tamara Durand or Tamara Rosentreter? Durand. Okay, so you couldn't find Tamara or Lee Owen? Okay. Sorry. Did you hear her ask, was that Lee Owen? Oh, I'm sorry, yes, the two of them. I couldn't find. The rest of the people were accounted for, but I didn't know where they were, so when they were hit, they went flying on the sidewalk. Okay. So, and that's why I didn't see them on the road. You saved yourself, Kathy Zadarzduk, um, Kathy Schmeling, the three of you went into the bar initially, is that correct? 
um, when they came out, they told us, you know, come on in here and get warm and have something warm to drink. And Were you injured as a result from, did you get struck by the, the red vehicle? No. Did uh, you see injuries or do you know if Kathy Schmeling or Kathy Zadarstuk got hit by the red vehicle? I don't believe so because Sharon, Kathy, and I were, uh, Kathy Z, were kind of walking in the road trying to see if everyone was being helped. How about you said Sharon was also looking to see if people were being helped. Did yes. you observe any injuries on Sharon? No. We were the three, more or less, that, and the fourth one was Kathy Schmeling, and she immediately went on the sidewalk, and I think it was a sister or someone was in the, on the sidewalk watching the parade. She quick ran up to Kathy and took Kathy right home. Kathy's sister, Kathy Schmeling's sister took Kathy Schmeling home? Yes, because she was crying standing there on the side on the sidewalk and she was kind of uncontrollable. I just feel so sorry for Laura because like I said, she's happy to relive this. Okay, so let's go, who were the first people that you saw as you walked out to check on people? Um, Sharon, I seen her I'm sorry, of the injured people. Oh. Um, who did you see of the injured people? Um, approximately where were they and what did you observe? Okay, I went straight ahead and it was mainly Tamara. Uh, Rosentreter? Yes. <laughs> and then it was um, Betty String. Were they both on the ground? Yes, they were laying in the road. Did you see, um, were they and, able to move? Pardon? Were they able to move? Um, not much, because the people were telling them to lay still, because I believe <clears throat> Betty had two skull fractures, and they didn't want her to move her head or anything. But yet she was awake, and she could talk. Okay. So. How about Tamara Rosentrader? Now, she had several broken bones, ribs, arm and wrist, leg. Um, so she had a lot of broken bones, but she too could talk and communicate. How about Lola Hospital? Lola immediately ran to her husband. She was, he was laying kind of on the sidewalk because when he was hit, he just went toward the sidewalk. And now he was hurt. He wasn't killed instantly. And she had a blanket for him and she stayed with him until the ambulance came and took him to the hospital. Did Bill recover from the injury sustained by that vehicle? No, he didn't. He died during surgery. Did you um, note any injuries or find out of any injuries to Lola Hospital? No. And uh, Lee, Owen, you said you could not find. Did you find Lee at all that evening? Yes. Later, the police had me identify her. They had her picture on their phone. And because uh, I asked where Lee was, and they showed me is this Lee. And um, it was her. She was thrown on the sidewalk. That's why I didn't see her in the road. Do you know what side of the sidewalk she was, or what side of the road she was thrown on? She was on the left. So as you're marching down Main Street, she was on the left side? Yes, she was right behind Ginny. Okay. And the picture that they showed you of Lee, was she alive when they took that picture? No, she was killed instantly. It's so sad, you guys. She had to ID Lee Owen by a picture on the police guy's cell phone. She had to see her friend dead like that. It's, it's so heartbreaking. I just can't even imagine what anybody that witnessed that parade is going through. And 
what Laura thinks of and is going through on a daily basis after seeing all that. You know, four of her friends died. Two were seriously critically injured. It's just so sad and heartbreaking. I'm glad that Betty and Tamara Rosentreeter is doing, they're doing well. But to lose four friends and see your other two laying there like that, I couldn't even imagine. Oh, I don't even know how Daryl can live with himself. He's such an SOB. Hey, Don, if you hear this, if you see this, if anybody knows Don, share this with her. Don, you need some damn help. Look at what kind of freaking monster you raised. Or maybe you didn't raise. And Ginny, did you see Ginny that night? Ginny was killed instantly also. She was right there on the road. Again, on the left-hand side? Yes. And did you go by Bill Hospital? Bill was on the right side. He, he kind of was thrown on the sidewalk. Did you go by him at all or? Yes. Objection. Okay. I talked to him. Hold I on. There's been an objection. Oh, I didn't hear him. <laughs> um, it's overruled. And her answer that she gave me. I didn't even state the objection, but. Ma'am, I'm going to show you what's been previously marked and admitted into evidence, which is Exhibit 15. It's going to show up on your screen, okay? You, let me know when you see it in front of you. And okay. I'd ask that it be published to the jury as well. It's previously been admitted into evidence. Go ahead. Thank you. Ma'am, can you, um, is this look to be Main Street, the parade route from November 21st of 2021? Objection. Leading the witness. Sustained as to the form of the question. Please rephrase. Do you know what Exhibit 15 is? Um... No, I don't know what this really is. Okay. Do you see, does it appear to be a map or something else? Objection. Pardon? Being a witness. Okay. Um, overruled. She may answer that. Does it appear to be a map or something else? Yes, where there's a lot of names and kind of a map. Okay. Do you see uh, a purple line on that map? Yeah, with all the purple stars on. Cor or I don't know if they're purple stars, but I see some yellow stars, some orange stars. Yes. Objection, yes. leading the witness. Um, this has previously been marked and admitted into evidence. I think right. I can direct her attention I, to these items. I think the, Your objection is noted. It's overruled. This exhibit has previously been received. I think the stars are, the color are pretty obvious what they are. Betty is just kind of confused. Jackass, good for nothing, SOB, POS, worthless, uh, deadbeat, whatever, any other name that anybody sees you as, including your uh, mother given name, uh, you need to just quit. You're not going to, but whatever. Anyways, she's talking about the purple line. I'm sure it kind of looks like some of the stars are purple because of the color of the line, but she's not a dumb lady. She's very wise, and she's doing a great job. You may ask uh, your next question of this witness. And you see the street that, uh, the long street that's depicted on Exhibit 15. First of all, do you see it in front of your screen? Yes. Okay. Starting at zero, zero, we're going to play it for approximately 10 seconds, um, and then I'll ask you some questions about it, okay? Ma'am, the group that you saw on the right-hand side of the screen, was that the Dancing Grannies? Yes, it was. And did you see headlights coming through your group? No, because it came from the back. I'm sorry, in the video, did you see headlights oh, coming through yes. the group? Oh, yes. Objection, Lee, in the wings. Yes. Overruled. She may answer. And you answered? 
Yes. To lose four of your friends in a matter of seconds by a crazed lunatic behind the wheel of a 2010 red Ford Escape. A loser. A deadbeat. A good-for-nothing P-O-S-S-O-B named Daryl Edward Brooks, Jr. Okay, thank you. And was that the path of travel you recalled seeing the red vehicle take as it went by you on the right and went through your group? Yes. Okay. I want to show it one more time for the jury so that they can now focus on the headlights on the vehicle. Objection. Relevancy. Uh, your objection's noted. It's overruled. Grounds. Uh, permitted to publish once again. Grounds. Is granted. And your honor, the state is going to play it at 50%. Grounds. Objection. Grounds. Noted. Overruled. Grounds. Relevance. Okay. If you can start, and please. I request a legal reconsideration of your ruling. Denied. Grounds of the denial. For the record, may I request a factual basis for your ruling? Is that a legal determination, Your Honor? Are you making a judicial determination? You may continue. May I, did you see the body come forward and fly front, in front of the truck? Um, no. Quit interrupting with your bullshit. It's hard enough for this woman to have to watch this shit and you're going to act like this? I was trying not to say any swear words during this just in respect. But you, on the other fucking hand, have got me pissed the fuck off. This poor woman has to relive this shit, you fucking jerk. Me being in back. I'm sorry, in the video, did you see the body Objection. flying in front of the truck? It's not no. moving. In the video that you just saw, you didn't see a body? Oh, yeah, on the video, but not. Right. And do you know who that was? Um, yes. Who was that? Uh, when they had it on TV, that was no, the man, right? I'm sorry. Who was the, bo the body that went flying in the street that came towards the front of the screen? Hold on one second. That last answer, I'm going to, because it was non responsive, but I'm going to strike it, instruct the jury to disregard it, and then if you could state your question again. Certainly. Um, if we can go to um, exhibit 55 again, to approximately the 10 second mark. That last question, then? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Can I be struck? The question? It's been withdrawn. Can it be struck from the record? It's been withdrawn. May it be struck from the record? It, there does not need to be struck. So the request is denied. It's been withdrawn. May I ask for a legal and factual The marks basis of the attorneys legal? and questions of the attorneys are not evidence. It's the answers that are evidence. So that's why it's not being struck. You may continue, Attorney Basie. Thank you. Do you see a body probably in the middle of the screen on the left-hand side? She is not letting Darrow's SOB POS Brooks shenanigans even mess with her zone. She's like in the zone. She's paying attention to what she needs to pay attention to. She doesn't care what he's saying. She's going to obviously follow Judge Doro's rules, but she doesn't care that uh, jerk off is sitting over there at that table sulking because he's not getting his way. She don't care. She's doing great. On the ground. Yes. Do you know who that is? Well, it's hard to tell who it's, but it, that would probably be Ginny. Okay, thank you. I'm now gonna show you, um, just you, it'll be in front of you on the screen, Exhibit 152. <clears throat> 152 is 14 seconds in length. I'm going to uh, show it to the witness the entire 14 seconds to see if she recognizes this. Oops. 
Do you recognize what's depicted in that video as what occurred and what you saw on November 21st of last year? Uh, yes, okay. but Thank when you. the car went, hit them, it was, you know, it was on my side and I didn't see them flying okay. or anything. Okay. I just... But you saw the car come through and you previously testified that you saw the car strike them. You didn't see where they went. Is that Objection fair? leaving the witness. Um, overruled. That answer may stand. I'm going to ask that this be admitted into evidence and published to the jury. Objection. Where's the relevancy? Grounds the objections relevance. noted it's overruled and exhibit 152 is received permission to publish is granted grounds for your ruling your honor relevance i'm going to play it at full speed initially and then i'm going to play it at 50 percent so i will ask you questions after i play it full speed okay mm -hmm. if we can uh, play the whole 15 seconds with some vehicle strike um, in that exhibit, <coughs> exhibit 152. Objection. Leading the witness, uh, saw the hold video. On. Tomorrow, saw the video. Hold, hold on, there's oh, been an oops. objection, everyone. Um, the objection is noted, it's overruled. Now you may answer Ground, the question. Grounds for the overrule, Your Honor. <coughs> it's overruled, you may answer. Grounds for the overrule, Your Honor. Go ahead, you may Tomorrow, answer. Tomorrow, Duran. Thank you. I'm now gonna play it at 50% speed for the jury. She's already having a hard enough time reliving and re-watching these clips or this video, this exhibit, I should say, a video um, of the actual tragic event from November of 2021 on the 21st day of November. And you are just objecting this, objecting that, and half the time you make, well, no, more than half the time. You make no damn sense, loser. Show some fucking respect. And that was the car that you saw travel in front of you? Yes. Objection leading the witness. Overruled. Grounds for the overrule, Your Honor. It's overruled. Next Grounds. question. Ma'am, I'm now gonna, um, if I did not already do it, I'd ask that Exhibit 52, 152 be admitted into evidence. I would then direct the witness's attention to Exhibit 153, which will show just in front of your screen, okay? Grounds. Um, exhibit 152 was received already. No need to address the request for grounds by Mr. Brooke due to that. And then the exhibit is up in front of the court, the witness, and the parties, but not published. Objection. I do not consent to or agree to being called that name, Your Honor, for the record. Go ahead, Attorney Basie. Thank you. This clip Would is... Would that be noted for the record, Your Honor? Go ahead, Attorney Basie. Thank you. May this... that be noted for the Mr. record, Mr. Brooks, Your Honor. stop interrupting. I just want to make Mr. sure... Mr. Brooks, on... stop. I just want to make sure it's on the record. Go ahead, Attorney Basie. Thank you. Um, this clip is 38 seconds in, in length, Your Honor. Um, Again, I'm going to show you the first five seconds of this clip and ask if it um, accurately reflects your observations from um, November 21st of last year. <laughs> and is that um, your group in the Walkster Christmas Parade last November? Yes. Okay. I'd ask that Exhibit 153 be admitted into evidence and be published for the jury. Objection. Relevancy. Exhibit 153 is received. It may be published to the jury. The objection is noted and overruled. Ma'am, I'm going to have it played at full speed, and then I'll ask you some questions and then play it at half speed, okay? Mm -hmm. Clear mics.
Ma'am, what did you see in Exhibit 153 that was just played before you? I seen Bill being hit and thrown towards the sidewalk. And that's Bill Hostel? Yes. Pay attention um, to this. If you've already watched the actual uh, clip, go back and watch this, please. She, you could tell by the look on her face how much this pained her and for her to see her friends get hit and killed and critically injured. This is so sad. And of course, Brooks wants to start his shit. And um, I'm gonna show it now to, the, to you and the jury, just a clip of it starting at zero seconds. At 50% speed, what I'm going to be asking you about is where you are in this clip, okay? So if you can start it. <laughs> I see we may have a future granny in, in front of us here with the green hair. Sure looks like it. <laughs> Rather than see. Um, your objections. Noted, sustain the jury will strike that last question and answer. And the jury will disregard that last answer. Now, if you look at the street, pause. Sorry, keep going. If we can pause it now at 21 seconds. I would just ask, did you see after Bill Hospital was struck, did you see some feet coming through the screen on the bottom at the very end of that clip? Objection, relevant. I seen him in the rules. legs, yeah. Okay, and then did you see your feet, Mark, that would have been the approximate area that he was hit, did you see your feet in the video at the end? It's fine if you didn't. It's Not really. really. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I will make sure to put in the description the link of the video I posted about a month ago or so of uh, Jackass Good For Nothing Waste of Space and Air, S-O-B and P-O-S, Brooks, questioning her, and it was awful. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so sorry, you guys, that it's late. Now it's going, today is going to be trial day seven. After this is posted, I will do trial. I'll find something from trial day seven, react to it, and post it up. All right. Thank you very much for watching and being patient with me, you guys.